Right, back to the rest of the day's news now. And the sister of the former Bolton player, J. Lloyd Samuel, is reported to believe that her brother's death in a car crash was faked and that he may be still alive. Today, she told an inquest that she would seek permission for a private DNA test of the remains. But the coroner said he was convinced the accident victim was J. Lloyd Samuel after hearing evidence of a dental and blood cell match. Here's our chief reporter, Dave Guest. This is J. Lloyd Samuel, as Bolton Wanderers fans may remember him. He played for the club between 2007 and 2011. He was declared dead in May of 2018 following a horrific road crash in Cheshire. His white Range Rover had been involved in a collision with a van and burst into flames. The body removed from the wreckage was so badly burned it couldn't be identified by sight. And J. Lloyd's sister, Leslie Ann, questioned whether the remains really were those of her brother. It was a question she hoped to see answered during an inquest in Warrington today. Expert witnesses told the hearing that dental records and DNA samples obtained from a hairbrush which belonged to the former footballer had matched samples taken from the body recovered from the car. The coroner, Alan Moore, said he was satisfied that the body in the Range Rover was that of J. Lloyd Samuel. However, his sister asked that the DNA samples should be released to her so she could have them tested independently. The coroner said it wasn't within his power to order that. The court was told at the time of the accident, J. Lloyd's car was travelling at around 65 miles an hour in a 60 mile an hour area. It had crossed the centre line and collided head on with the van, which had been travelling at about 42. The van driver had done all he could to avoid an impact, but was unable to do so. The court was also told that J. Lloyd's blood contained alcohol well above the legal limit for driving. 209 milligrams to 100 millilitres. The legal limit is 80. Dave, the inquest concluded a short time ago, actually. So what has the coroner said? Well, the coroner, Alan Moore, came back and concluded uh, that J. Lloyd had died as a result of a road traffic collision. Now, after that conclusion was announced, J. Lloyd's widow, Emma, issued a statement in which she said, my children and I are relieved that the inquest has finally taken place. For the past 18 months, we've not only had to live with the tragic loss of a husband and father, but also, she said, with what she described as relentless conspiracy theories, referring to that suggestion that the body in the car was not uh, her husband's. Well, of course, that was was a suggestion which was uh, roundly rejected by the coroner uh, today. She went on to pay tribute to the driver of the van who was involved in that collision. We heard today he was in no way responsible for it. He tried his best to avoid it. He's called Frederick Dare and she said uh, that we hope uh, that he continues to make the best possible recovery. That's Dave, me. thanks very much.